Good morning. Uh, thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, my, my name is Dr. Ivan Maldonado. I am a uh, University of Tennessee professor of uh, nuclear engineering. I have uh, approximately a quarter century of commercial, academic, and research experience in nuclear engineering, and I'm here representing the American Nuclear Society um, to provide, uh, and also to provide you with uh, position statements from the American Nuclear Society on the utilization of surplus, uh, surplus weapons plutonium as mixed oxide fuel. Um, I will provide these documents. Uh, and I will highlight some of the uh, main points in that document. Um, the American Nuclear Society was established in 1954. Um, it is a not-for-profit professional organization of engineers and scientists that are devoted to the peaceful application of nuclear science and technology. The approximately 12,000 ANS members worldwide from, uh, come from diverse technical backgrounds covering the full range of engineering um, disciplines as well as physical and biological sciences. Uh, the American Nuclear Society, uh, known as ANS, uh, endorses the rapid application of mixed uranium plutonium oxide, MOX, fuel technology, to accomplish the timely disposition of surplus weapons grade plutonium. Um, it is in the interest of both the United States and Russia to reduce their stockpiles of weapons usable plutonium that far exceed their defense requirements. This is not a new issue, but one which many presidents have faced over the past 20 years or more. Uh, in 1994, the uh, National Academy of Sciences stated the following, quote, the existence of this material constitutes a clear and present danger to national and international security, end quote. Um, the concept of using MOX to dispose of surplus plutonium has received broad national and international support from scientific organizations such as the National Academy of Science, the U.S.-Russian Independent Scientific Commission on Disposition of Excess Weapons Plutonium, Harvard University's Project on Managing the Atom, and the Nonproliferation Project of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. Uh, Russia and the U.S. have held extensive discussions on plutonium disposition, which culminated in the September 2000 agreement to dispose of 34 metric tons of surplus weapons-grade plutonium in each country. The U.S. has more than a national interest. Uh, we have a treaty obligation to move this program forward. Uh, the use of MOX in nuclear reactors consumes much of the weapons-grade plutonium and alters the isotopic makeup of the remainder so that it becomes less attractive for use in nuclear weapons. In addition, spent MOX uh, assemblies are large, highly radioactive, and maintained under material and security controls as for all spent fuel, therefore, are fully compliant with the spent fuel standard for safeguarding nuclear materials. MOX is widely used in several countries. It is an essential part of their energy and fuel cycle management policies. MOX has been proven to be a safe and reliable source for over decades. Um, the safety and performance record of MOX is comparable to that of low enriched uranium fuel, which is used in 104 nuclear reactors in our country today. Uh, to close, uh, converting the excess plutonium that constitutes a national security risk uh, to, into MOX fuel technology that can be safely and peacefully used to generate electricity for U.S. residents stands as the ultimate fulfillment of the converting swords into plowshares concept. I thank you for your time.